This is the greatest coffee brew in the world, and today we're giving away $100,000 to the person that can brew this coffee the best. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, what's sorry. up? Oh, oh, you're filming. Uh, I'm just about to give away $100,000. Now I don't have to. Look what I just got in the mail, man. What is this? The Flare 58. Have you ever seen it? No, what is it? It's a manual espresso machine. Manual? Can you Why manual? Espresso? Hands down, some of the best shots I've ever pulled. Better than your machine? Better no. than, <laughs> yeah, on, no. better than, better than the linear All right, all right, how's it work? The chamber heats up using electricity. How do you use this for travel then? Well, I have a battery pack. And how long so does it take to heat the water? You have to boil the water, but it's worth it when you're at a rest stop somewhere. Do people look at you like you're weird? Oh yeah, they do, they do. I am a weirdo. Bruh. All right, so how does it, <laughs> so oh, it's like a lever machine. Yeah, so we, we plug it in. There are three settings, a low, medium, and high. It beeps when it's ready the beep it heats very fast feel you feel that oh yeah yeah how many watts is it pulling 200 the gauge is the awesome awesome thing about this you can feel the shot you can you, feel you can the shot. you can feel the shot you can feel the resistance you can feel the flow rate it's it's you know a very like Zen way of pulling a shot. It's it's like the ultimate lever machine, basically. You can dial in your cough so much better with the feel of it. Oh, 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 you know, oh. or if it's good, it's just got that great feel to it. You watch this. You can play with your flow rate, pressure. That's all because of the way you're. you're That's pulling. all. Yep. It's not electronic. And you have real time view of the pressure here with your muscle okay so as you're pulling and you're looking at the pressure you want to go a little higher you want to go a little lower oh there we go we're ready are you measuring out so much coffee per shot you know me i don't do that <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute all this money all this fancy gadgetry yeah. and you don't weigh your that there's nobody on the internet that says that's okay i, I don't care i'm matt faust <laughs> Well, you heard it first. There we go. So, if I can look at the volume of the Porta filter, it's usually always 18. I have some coffee here. We'll use that. Okay. This okay. is our Espresso 99 coffee, which is a blend of coffees to give chocolatey notes, nutty finish, and some highlights of berry fruit. Ooh. Yeah, so. Awesome. I actually hate hand grinders. We're not even close to it. No. <laughs> Yeah, but what else are you going to do when you're on a road trip besides drive, right? <laughs> I usually use my, my leg. Yeah, we need to start a uh, coffee band. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm sweating. You, you continue. I'm tired. This is the portafilter? Like, that is the portafilter. This is what comes with it. They, yes. The finish, though, unfortunately, of this is like kind of rough. It's kind of rough, yeah. So they could at least like sand, sand it down it. and like maybe varnish it a little bit yeah. to make it. There we go. Because this is, a, you know, the, the tactile feel is. It's not very tactile. It's, yeah, it's not very pleasant. And it's also really, I noticed it's really lightweight. What we do, fill it. So it's kind of clumpy. You think that's today's humidity? Because I've never seen it like this. And it could be. That could be that. But this is the kind of thing where I think that's where we want to use that. The WDT. The yeah. rate. Let's pack the shot. Come yeah. to this tamper. Cute little tamper. The flare also comes with this disbursement screen that you set on top of the puck. So there's no disbursement screen. There is in no the disbursement screen in the chamber. Put it in. That in. The way this works, as you see when you push the lever down. Right, so the piston goes down. The piston goes down. That seals the chamber. When you pull it up, that also seals it. So what you do is you push it down the whole way. You add your hot water. So How do you know when you have enough? I just fill the chamber. I think it comes out to like... Just eyeballing it. Yeah. Okay. So we have water in the chamber. Now what happens when we pull up... You can see it's just, oh, it just works in. just like a, a toilet float valve, basically. So there, okay, so there's a valve. This is a valve here. Yep. At the top. Okay. So now it lets the water in. So now do you let it kind of like flow for pre yep. infusion? You can do your own custom pre infusions. So now we have a full chamber. And this is the awesome thing about this. 
is you can watch real time pressure. Is I do a pre infusion of you know about three psi until I start to see it coming out. Oh, go. look at that! Oh yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. I'll let it do that for a couple seconds, and then I ramp it right up to about nine. So you want to turn quite a bit of effort. Yeah, right? well, yeah, it's all over here on the other side too, and then. Once I get about three fourths of the way, I bring it down a little bit. This is just the way I like to do it. And then I finish out the shot. And we're blonding there a little bit, so I guess right, we can end it. Pull that out. Now you know what your shots should taste like. You see that crema? Yeah, and that's that, pretty good. You know, it's, isn't that amazing? It's not the heavy thickness that you know you get from a, a commercial machine, but it's pretty. You know, it's got a nice thickness to it. Yeah and it's holding together like it's not breaking or anything like that, which is surprising. You're impressed. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> Does that taste like your coffee? Wow, there's a really nice sweetness. And we're shooting in the dark here, like we're not. That is sweet. Yeah, we haven't done any dialing in or no anything dialing. like that. And the chocolate tones are not as pronounced in this one. Mm -hmm. But it's, and it's, I'd say it's kind of got a light medium body with good sweetness. The finish is still long lasting. Mm -hmm. I can taste that. Oh, that's quite nice. Wow, this is awesome, man. You're into it. I'm, I'm naturally skeptic about some new gear, but this is kind of cool. To me, it's feel, watching, tasting. That's why I love this thing. You can feel the shot. It's a very tactile way of pulling a shot of espresso. This one, you are the piston. You can actually vary the pressure. Nine, eight, eight, nine, seven. You can play around so much with this. All right, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, totally. So that's the Flare 58. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Did I win the 100 that?